Hello, my name is Patricia Ford and I am the author of The Girl Who Fell to Earth. I am so excited and delighted that this book is on the shortlist with the KPMG Children's Books Ireland Awards this year. It's always a great award and a great list, so I'm absolutely thrilled to be here. So let me tell you a little bit about The Girl Who Fell to Earth. The protagonist is a girl called Aria and she lives on a planet called Taros that are about a thousand years ahead of us when it comes to technology and invention. Now on Taros, our planet, Earth, which they call the shadow planet, is nothing more than a laboratory for them. They found an empty planet, populated it with people, and ever since they've been watching us to see what becomes of us. They don't believe that they're being cruel in doing that because they're brought up to believe that we don't form relationships. Why is that? Because on Terros, they live forever, barring accidents. They live forever. And they look at us and they say, they live for such a short time, they don't form relationships. They don't feel things like we do. The other thing on Terros is they absolutely detest us because they see that we are destroying the planet. Um, so in that context and in that environment, you have Aria, a young girl who sent on her first mission from her own planet, where she is to accompany her dad, go to Earth and release a virus in two parts, a virus that will destroy humankind forever. Now, funnily enough, I wrote this long before COVID. But it's the same idea, this virus that can travel really quickly and destroy a lot of people. Um, so the first dose sort of softens up the immune system and then the second dose will destroy humanity. So Aria and her dad come to Dublin and her father releases the virus on the dart. This is, remember, the first part of the virus. But something totally unexpected happens when Aria herself becomes ill. Her dad is forced to return to Teros to try and find an antidote for his daughter. While he's gone, Arya befriends the girl next door, Megan, and learns that there was a lot more to Earth and humans than she'd been taught. It was a strange book for me to write because, like I said to you, Teros are ahead of us when it comes to technology and science. So I had to do a lot of research which isn't something I'm used to doing because I normally write fantasy and I just make it up. But this time I had to, I had to research things. And I started to think, you know, what would they have that we don't have? You think about that for a minute. What do you imagine we might have in a thousand years time that we don't have now? Well, everything I thought of, I Googled it and it's already been invented. Even if we don't have it yet, scientists are working on it. So finally, I came up with an idea, given that so many humans sadly suffer from dementia and Alzheimer's disease, I came up with this idea that on Teros, they have a memory disc, a thing you put in your ear and you can download your memories to it so that your brain doesn't become too full. Uh, and I had great fun with that in the writing because it meant, of course, that you could play with the whole idea of memory, share other people's memories all of that. Well, anyway, Arya is there on planet Earth, abandoned by her father, who doesn't come back. And to make things worse, dark forces on her own planet are out to get her. So it's a sort of a, an adventure, it's a page turner, and it's a bit of a thriller. Uh, but mostly I wanted to think about relationships and how somebody from another dimension would see us. One of the things Arya comments on is she says, you don't live for long here, but you rarely talk about death. Whereas on my planet, we live forever and we never stop talking about it. So I suppose I was trying to bring up a few philosophical questions as well about things like, is it a good thing to live forever? Um, and I think we're not sure about that yet. There are a lot of aspects to that that we need to think about. But overall, Arya discovers that people are pretty much the same, whether they live on her planet or here, and relationships are just as strong. 
I really enjoyed writing this book and I hope you enjoy reading it. Gurumil Mahagi, Salaam.